<laughs> What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. Congratulations to the Astros. Astros and Dodgers. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, I just went and got some uh, dinner uh, with my brother and friend. And uh, we watched the game and everything. So that's what I'm getting back uh, here, finally. And uh, yeah, it was a good game. Crazy. I still can't accept the Astros being in the American League. So to me, this doesn't seem like a World Series. But anyways, that's besides the point. I want to do a little follow-up about the uh, video I did earlier about the whole Justice League runtime and how the source... The source of it all, um, still not going to say his name. I don't like to say names on my videos because I feel like I'm calling out, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I've had some debates with people, some people who didn't like the fact that uh, that I, you know, said that, oh yeah, he has every right to uh, do, you know, call up on the FBI and do whatever. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying that he had no right to do it. I'm just saying it's a little bit much, uh, you know, <laughs> to, I mean, to me, to... to when I when I talked about Tim Pole and how he gets death threats for being you know on the ground during protests and stuff like that from the right and the left death threats from both sides and eh. and to the guy who said uh, Antifa or the good guys no they're not they're the extreme left they have they use violence as well as the other side is too that's why I said Tim Pole who doesn't subscribe to either the right or the left when he does his thing he kind of just makes his own opinions he gets death threats. From both sides and actually to be honest he's actually gotten more death threats threats from antifa and have had more of a target from those guys than actually the alt-right which is very strange anyways besides the point um you know uh he has every right to do what he i just thought it was a bit much and i actually talked to said source uh direct message because i was debating with somebody and then uh he kind of got involved um see what one of the things i just didn't like was the fact that anybody that didn't fully agree with what he was doing, like getting the FBI involved. He just said that they were supporting death threats. He was pointing them out, retweeting them, and then blocking them. I didn't like that. That's, that's shady shit. I don't really think that's great. But I talked to him, and he actually mentioned who gave him the death threat and why, you know, the fact that he's getting involved because I guess this is, this is not the first time. And once he started mentioning who, it clicked in my brain, and I went, oh, that guy, because he's come at me a few times as well. Yeah, some of you guys might not even know what I'm talking about. He's made videos about me and shit, too. Um, but he's gotten, like, four YouTube channels banned, like, just deactivated. He's done this with numerous sites who just don't agree. And he just goes off the reservation. See, he's got something wrong up here. He's a young kid, too. He's got something wrong up here. Um, so, taking all that, I still think getting the FBI involved is still stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to change my stance on that because it's just a dumb kid. And usually that's what these trolls are. These death threats come from just nothing, you know? And that's why I was like, I'm still kind of going, yeah, but still nice. But I did apologize to said source guy, uh, runtime guy. Uh, I did apologize for like making a maybe bigger stink about it because I was like, oh, okay. Kind of saw like, well, yeah, maybe this will teach the guy a lesson with all this and everything. So... I kind of went, well, hopefully something good comes out of it and this kid can just fucking get some help, basically. Um, I apologized and uh, didn't get an acceptance of the apology. Yeah, no, didn't. Uh, usually when somebody sends me an apology or something like that, I would say like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. You know, it's understandable. This, that, and this, cool. Yeah, didn't get a response. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay, you know, it's whatever. I, me, I'm just one of those people that if somebody apologizes, I will actually send them back. But I guess that's asking too much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry myself to sleep over it. But when it comes down to it, guys, it's all stupid. It's all dumb. It's just dumb. You know, this whole thing is dumb. All we had to do is just be patient. And uh, I still stand with some of the, with the things I said in my video. But I did apologize to said source if I made too much of a stink about it. And, uh, you know, learning, like, who was making the threat. It's like, okay, I could see why, you know, this person needs to be, you know, something, some kind of authority needs to happen here. Okay, just something needs to happen. So, yeah, but still, it's just a fucking, just a dumb kid who needs to get the FBI involved with that. You just leave him be because he's come at me so many, he's come at me a lot. And I just laughed at it. I've just laughed and poked fun at him. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the, the, the stink of it. That's all I've done, you know? He, <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's just all crazy, but uh, I just wanted to do a little follow-up saying that I've talked to uh, Fed Source, and, uh, 
you know, he gave me some information and that's pretty much it. You know, that's all. It wasn't, there wasn't anything else that happened with the exchange. And I still think uh, stuff that he was doing and bragging about everything for the past three days, I think that's stupid. I still think it's dumb. I th he definitely was asking for some of it. I'm still sticking behind that. But like I said, hey, to anybody who disagrees, I still think he has every right to do whatever he wants. And I know death threats, that's illegal and everything like that. There's so much illegal stuff that people do online, it's ridiculous. Uh, making a threat, an empty threat behind a, a keyboard, I don't, I just, there's just nothing behind it to me. Especially when I found out it was this person. I'm like, yeah, there's, he's not a threat. He's not a threat at all. So, anyways, guys, Jesus Christ, look at that guy. Um, and, ooh, don't look at that. That's just like form tonight. Ah, the stress. So there you go, guys. I just want to do a little follow-up um, just to see what's going on, you know. And I did, like I said, I apologize to said source for making maybe have a bigger stink about it than I should have, I guess. I don't know. But I still stand behind some of the stuff, that, most of the stuff I said in the, vi in the video and everything. But, you know. But, yeah, there you go. That's all I want to talk about. So I'll talk to you guys later.